Hey everyone, Oscar here, and today we're going to be talking about using Atom's pressure-only mode in an application like Ableton Live. Pressure-only mode lets you control different effects by applying more or less pressure to a pad. Each pad can send its own unique pressure message. Once you have CC pressure mode turned on, by pressing and holding the hardware setup button and tapping pad 6, you can choose which pads in bank A send a pressure-only message. Hold down the shift button, then press the Hardware Setup button to go into Advanced Setup mode. Then press the Show Hide button on the left. All the pads should be lit up red. This means that they're sending both note and pressure messages. As you tap on each pad, the red lights will shut off. Any pad that's light is off will only send a unique pressure message without sending a note message. After you press the Hardware Setup button again, you'll notice that the pads you changed are now a little bit more dim. This is how you know the pad is only going to send a pressure message. Now we're ready to assign this in our software. A program like Ableton Live makes it pretty easy to assign controllers. Just click on MIDI, then select the software control that you want to assign. Now press and hold one of the pads that's only sending pressure, and that's it. I've got a few macros set up already in Live that control a few effects. I have a filter assigned to pad 1, a reverb assigned to pad 2, and a delay assigned to pad 3. I also have my first four scenes mapped to pad 16, 12, 8, and 4. Now when I trigger my scene that has a piano loop in it, I can control the track's effects using only pressure. Here's my filter. Notice how accurate the pressure is. Here's the reverb. And then, the delay. Easy as that. Check out personas.com for more information on Adam.